Things you never knew about Sandra Bullock. Voices up. Sandra Bullock was born in 1964 to parents who infused her childhood with song. Her mother Helga was a German opera singer and her father John was a voice teacher. Sandra and her younger sister regularly performed at her mother's productions. In 1993, she played country singer Linda Lou Linden in The Thing Called Love. She wrote and performed Heaven Knocking on My Door in the film. First Steps to Stardom Sandra Bullock studied theater at Greenville, North Carolina's East Carolina University. She relocated to New York to pursue a stage career, followed by television and movie roles. Her film debut was in 1987 in Hangman as Lisa Edwards. In 1990, she played Tess McGill in a short-lived TV series adaptation of Working Girl. She replaced Nancy McKeon, The Facts of Life, in that role. Speed. After appearing in films such as The Vanishing and Wrestling Ernest Hemingway, Sandra Bullock became a star with her breakthrough role as Annie Porter in the 1994 thriller Speed. She reunited with Speed co-star Keanu Reeves in the 2006 romance The Lake House. Timing is everything. In 1995, Sandra Bullock replaced Demi Moore as the lonesome Lucy in While You Were Sleeping. In this romantic comedy drama, she cemented her acting sweet spot as an earnest, kind-hearted protagonist. In 1993, she also replaced Lori Petty for the role of Lenina Huxley in Demolition Man. Benjamin Bratt played Alfredo Garcia in the film. The two reunited in the hit Miss Congeniality in 2000. The Blind Side Sandra Bullock won the Academy Award in 2009 for her role as Leanne Tui in The Blind Side. The film was based on the true story of Baltimore Ravens offensive lineman Michael Ower and his adoptive family, Leanne and Sean Tui. In 2013, Ms. Tui hosted Family Edition with Leanne Tui. Rethinking Faith When she began filming The Blind Side, Sandra Bullock was hesitant about working with Leanne Tui. She noted that in her previous encounters with some Christians, they preached but did not do the right thing. After meeting Ms. Tui, she said, I feel I've finally met someone who practices but doesn't preach. I now have faith in those who say they represent a faith.